All right, Baker Molasses at the movies on the fly. And I was thinking, I'm going to announce it anyway. Baker Molasses, we're going to come be coming to you a, a video component, which is going to be a separate show, Baker Molasses, which is already a podcast show. Yes. But it's going to be affiliated with your favorite baked goods along with movies. In other words, like it. so it, it doesn't Baker, you know, like some featured baker, and is that cooks with molasses? <laughs> I heard a whole theory of someone eat, that loves cinnamon rolls in Cleveland who, I mean, he had a whole thing about picking out the middle because that was where all the cinnamon was and I said it was like That's the navel where the cinnamon was or where the lint is and he's like yes. it's better than the lint yeah 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 I don't want to go to the lint you just wrecked the donut <laughs> the sorry. whole thing <laughs> yeah now, now you now you, that's <laughs> That's like too much information. Well, anyway, yeah. So you you saw something that you really loved. I've seen a couple of things. What did you see? You really loved. I saw Honey Boy in New York City. Yeah. Okay, Shia you saw, LaBeouf. Okay, wrote it. So, so you saw Honey Boy. I did not see that. So, so moving, I had to go in the bathroom and cry after because my son works there. I didn't want to. Such a girl. Such a girl. <laughs> I mean, it was so beautiful. Though. It was. It was great. And so is it on your top five? Top ten. Top three. Oh. Okay, I've got that, Honey Boy, Marriage Story, and what's And you loved, you loved, uh, Mr. Rod- yeah, you loved, uh, you thought, Those so three. you saw, you saw the, um, neck and neck. you saw the um, documentary, How's the, how does the, how does the narrative stock up to the, the documentary? I thought it did a great job. So you thought it was worthy of being made into, yeah, to. Yeah. have you seen it yet? No, I'm, I'm saving it. Wow. So you give that like four stars. Yes. And you wrote your review already. Yes. I did not see it yet. I apologize. In fact, the Irishman, okay. Oh, were you going to talk about that? The quiet <laughs> moments there that I felt yeah, were I awkward know. in A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, gorgeous. It's all the way you play it out in the atmosphere. and. Yeah, it's also it. that it's not three hours and 29 <laughs> minutes of um, CG effects. Yeah. And uh, but if there's emotion involved, I'm in it, you know? Well, I said I to somebody at a party the other night, I said, Robert De Niro got stuck in CG. His expression was... <laughs> Buffering. It was like... <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. It was more dirty grandpa than godfather, too. Yeah. More dirty grandpa than godfather. A little bit. A little bit. But did you love Joe Pesci in that? I did. I love Joe Pesci, but the point is, when you see Joe Pesci... The scene goes on another five minutes after it should have ended, right. and I'm looking at it. And I'm going, okay. I, in my review, and, I, and I'll just share that. I wrote a review and I compared it with The Godfather too. Now, here's the thing: there's no comparison. But the point is, this I just saw it on the big screen three weeks ago. Right. There is not one second of The Godfather. Not one second. I agree. There are literally moments of five, ten, fifteen, twenty minutes where nothing happens. They're forcing lines. Yes. And they're f bombing it to, just because they can. Yes. And the other blank sucker. I mean, how many times are you gonna say it? Where it starts like right. So that's why it bugged me. You know what other movie I felt the same Dolomite. Oh, I, I, can, I couldn't get through it yet. I, I now I, I, I've been Another watching it. Another flat one. It's just flat. Yeah. Um, did you see? No. So you like so so Honey Boy Beautiful. loved it. It, did you like it better than, uh, or is it different? It's different than it's different, Peanut Butter Falcon, but though. But I'll tell you right now, what a perfect double feature, Honey Boy, and then you go into A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. And it's then like, Peanut Butter Falcon, and you're like, totally. Oh, it's like you've, you've cried your heart out. You're selling you're cookies. You're selling <laughs> baker molasses. We are. Um, what did you say you were about to so say? No, so, so then the other one, so Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, you, did you like that better than? The doc? The honey Boy? Oh. oh, better than the doc? That's a better question. Uh, or is they're different? They're, they're just equally great. Okay, equally. That's good because I like. I like. I'm going to go see it. I want to say that the narrative is better. So I, I was, I was, I was so. I'm just going to take one last shot at Irishman. Um, <laughs> I have to. He I hated it too. He what? He hated it too. I saw it, and I, I talked to somebody, and I don't want to be that guy. That says I'm right and you're wrong, but I'm right and you're wrong, because if now if you see it five times, like somebody that I know saw it, right. and I, I re- whisper now I couldn't imagine giving seventeen and a half hours to that. That's like like being in solitary confinement. Yeah, and we know somebody that did that time today. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, it's For nice, a nice, seg- nice, nice segue. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I almost whacked that lady in the front. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. This is a friendly show. Okay. Baker and molasses. Anyway, we give I, cookies away. I'm we're sorry. sweet people. We're gentle. We're kind. I sidetracked you. Yes. So, 
I forgot. So I'm not going to pick on it. Irishman is just it's it's just it's it's poorly written. It's all about writing. Now I compare that with the Joker. Joker. Joker is just a f- superior film. Oh, it is. And I'm disappointed, in Marty. I think maybe that bus has passed. The film I loved. I'm a Detroit guy. Is Ford versus Ferrari. All right. Well. Did you not like it? I You're didn't making- love it. Wow. Yeah, so we'll go we're going to have to go car to car on that one. Well, I t- <laughs> No, I love Christian Bale. I thought he was great and I thought that um um Matt Damon was great. I just got into the story of the car and and It's a great story. And 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 the, and the father son thing and and you know there are a couple things that bother me, you know, the overplaying of the Ford exact, but I know those suits. And so I relate to it cuz I worked at Four More Company for like 4 years. I was like that guy that would go to the big house, the the glass house and right. I I knew that mentality and Lee Iacocca was portrayed in there. Yeah, yeah. And the father of the Mustang. So I I really thought it was snappy. It was like there was a lot of energy there. What didn't what didn't work for you? Cuz I'm surprised. I just love right, just Christian down. Bale so much. I think he didn't wasn't allowed to like show I didn't see him as an angry man. Like, he threw a wrench. Oh, okay, he's an angry... Like, it was just too cliché, the points they tried to make about his character. I wanted to see more of a dirty guy. Not dirty in a bad way, but I mean, like, gritty. Where, you know, Matt Damon was trying to be the buffer between the corporate and him. Yeah. I didn't see him as being that antagonistic. And I think it should have been... But they were trying to make it pretty. Well, I, th- I thought you, s- I saw, you- I think you saw his angst and the fact that he was always against the suits, and he was kind of. They they start with that wrench scene, and they they start really high there, and then you do see him softening, and he d- he believes in his friend. I love the ending. The ending. Was I mean, beautiful. it was it was blew me it blew me away. I didn't I didn't know anything great. about, you know, about the. I didn't know the story. Thank how the God. how the how the race ended? Yeah, I don't and think the, you should. No, that no, oh no, my God! He wrecks wrecks the film. Right, right. I totally agree. But I, you know, I give it. A, and by the way, the audience is the critics were ninety one. The audience ninety eight. Right. It's not often. I don't know. I think if you go again, you, I was enthralled with the racing the stuff. The racing scenes were. Phenomenal. It's insane. Right. They were very. But good. I. But Bale is just very nuanced, and I watched him as Cheney, and I didn't. I hated that film because right. it was just over the top hate fest of. Dick Cheney's no, worse. always good. But he's great. In okay, M. well, here's the other problem I had with it. Noah Jupe plays his son. Okay. Who is also the kid in Honey Boy. Okay. Holy. He deserves an Academy Award for Honey Boy. Okay. What he had to do. And so this looks so chintzy to me. Only because yeah. I had seen this range. Yeah. So I think it messed me up, you know, seeing yeah. this, like, well, that's, that's fair. emotional masterpiece. But look at the two big boys, so Damon and Bale, I they think. They are good. But yeah, you look okay. Bale and Damon, and you look at Pacino and De Niro, yes. right? Pacino and De Niro look like they were wax figures with CG there injected no in them. No I guess it's my job to continue to bash the Irishman until Marty Scorsese attacks me with his eyebrows. <laughs> Gus, why don't you like the film? The New York film critics gave him the best movie. Oh, I know. They loved it because they're right up his um, right. CG. <laughs> <laughs> De Niro was stuck in CG. I, I, I just couldn't I couldn't move with that. Anyway, I, so you, Gus, you like that Ford, ver, Ford versus Fair, uh, well, Ferrari. I mean, but I you still liked it. it. But my dad is even a racing guy. I took him. He well, you like the racing scene. You loved it better than uh, Irishman. Oh, for God's sake, yes. Irishman is terrible, right? It's, the worst. it's terrible. And Dolomite's the same level as. Okay, Irishman. It's and you're just disappointed. Flat. So what? El- what else was there that you? Uh, um, oh, I saw a Marriage Story. I got lucky. I and that's good. Yes. Yeah, they talked. I'm going to see that again, and I was jaded going in. And I Dark don't Waters. Hear about divorce. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. But it was so well crafted. Yeah. The story is. It's perfect. Story. Yeah, he's he. They're talking about him for an Academy Award, and Scarlett Johansson's in that, right? Yes, and she's good too. And yeah. she was Ray Liotta as like a divorce. Oh attorney. God, phenomenal. Yeah, again, he was missing from The Irishman. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. Well, you just mentioned another one. That I wanted to say something about. What did you say? Oh, um, oh, Dark Waters. Thank yeah, <laughs> yeah, Dark Waters looks good. Yeah, it does. Looks good. Um, and I love Foxcatcher, which is about the same family, the DuPonts. Which oh, I the Foxcatcher? He, but he, but Carell played that with his nose. Yeah, but Mark Ruffalo's character in that was yeah. great. Yeah, he is good. He was great in Spotlight, too. 
Yeah, he's a great actor. Yeah, he's good. I'm going to see that for sure. So but I'm going to go see A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood again. I I'm going to go that see much. that. I'm going to see I'm that. I'm skipping to that like I did to Bohemian Rhapsody. Well, you need, you need, you need a l- little um, fix sometimes. A kindness fix. Yeah. Is that, is that what we can call it? Yes, I agree. Sure. I, good. I thought you could. Marty, <laughs> could you make this film a little longer? Maybe another hour? Okay, what was the, real quick, because I know we have to end. What was the movie we saw the Inside? Oh, Inside Game. It was about uh, uh, Tom, Tom, right? Dunnegy. Is it? Uh, yeah, Dunnegy, who was a referee. Interesting tale, and it was he threw a curveball at me. I didn't know that that wasn't his affiliated film. It was somebody else made it about him. It was a curveball or was it offside? It's just kidding. It was, it was, it was a foul. <laughs> it was a, actually a foul. No, um, but you know what? I thought... There were parts of that I really enjoyed. There were really par- parts of that were really at high level, and then there were parts that were like, oh, my God, did I they mean, just put the- that scene in there? Exactly. Some and then the that dialogue- lady would laugh behind, in front of me, or right. wherever the hell she was. But I thought some of the dialogue was spot on, like, this is real, you know? Yeah. No, it was. It was. There was, there was, there was some good... I didn't trash it. I no. mean, Rotten Tomatoes is terrible with it, but... Right. But, yeah, it, was, it had merit. I felt, yeah, it I felt bad for him about his plight. Me, too. There's my bookie. Uh, give me yeah. 600 on the Cardinals. <laughs> Charlie, what, I'm a degenerate, Charlie I'm a degenerate gambler. No, okay. I'm not. I'm well, we better up. leave because we we'll have We'll see you guys at the movies. Yes, thank, right, you. thank you. Thank you.